This one, anime fandoms in a nutshell. Anime has become a popular subculture and it's never been easier to discuss and express your love for your favorite shows with other mm, people. Depends if you are talking to, man. People. But as fun as that is, there's always been one massive downside to interacting with fellow anime fans. Just talking to them? Interacting with fellow anime fans. <laughs> Discussing yeah, anime online may it, seem like a harmless activity as from the outside, the anime community looks welcoming to everyone, whether you're young or old, male or female, straight or LGBT, Jojo fan. Just don't don't have an uh, opinion if you are getting into anime. If you have an opinion, it will get immediately destroyed because everyone thinks your your taste is trash. Like. However, online anime discourse can be a toxic landscape and navigating it incorrectly may put you at risk of causing a bigger yep. nuclear fallout since Hiroshima, Shinobu and pissing off the BTS fanbase. But have no fear, <laughs> I'm here to break down everything you need to know to give you a survival guide to the etiquette of discussing anime online. So follow this guide and maybe one day you'll reach your final form like me and unlock the oh, secrets of I dual wielding. Not. Lesson 1. Please not. Your taste is shit. According to I other anime it, fans, man. since the dawn of the first weaves, anime fans have it tried to true. prove that they are superior to their fellow anime fans. And thus, their default state of communication is to shit on each other's taste. If you hate a show, you don't know what good anime is. If you like a show, you're not liking the right anime. If you think a show is just okay, well, you might as well have just pissed on someone's grave. Anime fans have found... Yep. Uh, I don't know why, but people are not getting that aggressive if you say that the, this one anime is like the worst one or the best one. But if you say it is mid or okay, like this is the worst war crime you could commit, apparently. It doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. Many ways to express their taste publicly, from lists to 3x3s to more recently tier lists, not realizing that this is just an open invitation into an active war zone. <laughs> These things may look like a blank canvas to express your taste so you can be Leonardo da Vinci, but really you're just proving to everyone that you're Leonardo Degenerate. Yes. Oh, okay, it's 2022 now, isn't it time we come to accept people's very taste in anime and allow people to enjoy what they want? No. no. If anime fans <laughs> worked together, they have the potential to build not. a wonderful utopian society free of judgments and boundaries but that would mean giving in and allowing jimmy over here to think meliodas is a likable protagonist hell no weebs would no. rather live in a state of mutually assured destruction like, i pity seven diddly since fans like that show i give it a good shot i give it a chance and it's not good man i can't say it's good than accepting each other's taste. This is the foundation the community is built on, which is why it's always socially acceptable to clown on weebs, especially if you're a weeb. So yeah. remember, the you first lesson the about having an opinion on anime is... Don't. But of course, watching anime isn't the only way to get in touch with your weeb side, as you can also start getting into Japanese culture, like the snack culture, which brings out anime fans, okay. because if you must get involved with Support them... them like lesson 2. Not all anime fans are built the same. Your interaction may vary greatly, depending True. on which corner of the anime fandom you find... Shonen Tarts, uh, the mega fandom, idol, isekai trash. Okay, I'm Isika Trish. Find yourself in. <laughs> now that anime has gotten popular, the safest place to find refuge is to blend in with the functional members of society who just happen to casually dabble in anime. They don't care if Saitama can beat Goku or if Luffy is a better protagonist than Gon. Yeah. They're just here for the fun, so you don't need to worry about anything. However, so, ask yourself. What can we discern from an individual who says they enjoy games, Marvel movies, liked Game of Thrones until the last season and is watching Demon Slayer? Yeah, nothing. It's just a fucking normie. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely fucking nothing. The downside to doing this is potentially coming off as bland, because the only thing worse than having shit taste is having no taste. Unless, of course, your taste is shown in anime. Within the anime fandom, there is no community more loud, more confrontational than yeah. shonen fans. People may say that shonen fans arguing over which show is superior is akin to monkeys throwing <laughs> poop at each other, but that might be an unfair comparison for the monkeys. This is because shonen fans view their lives as a battle anime and are always ready for a fight. As such, they've even developed their own attacks to bring as much damage to any opposing takes they need to confront, such as the word mid. Mid is short for- Okay, mid is not only used by shonen tasks, man. Uh, man, everyone uses that. 
for middle, but is used as a powerful counter against any and all other opinions about anime. Not content with simply saying other shows are bad, shonen fans have somehow found a way to weaponize mediocrity. If someone else <laughs> thinks a show is good, it's mid. If a show is bad, it's mid. If a show is boring, it's mid. It's mid. If a show is overhyped, it's mid. Your favorite moment? Mid. The characters? Mid. Mid is used so often that nobody even knows what mid means anymore, except for the one thing it doesn't mean, which is mid. If this sounds daunting to you, there are some simple defense strategies you can use against fans of certain shows in the genre. For example, if you meet a Demon Slayer fan, simply show them this screenshot of Nezko. The sight of cleavage will morally terrify them, and they will not know how to act. If you meet an Attack on Titan fan, simply show them a microsecond of CGI. Oh my god, this was such a huge deal with him. Like the new season of War, uh, when it came out, people were so enraged. I, I don't know why, I think the CG was pretty decent. Okay, I guess, but but didn't you watch the older Attack on Titan? Did you watch season two Colossal Titan CG? That was by Wit Studio. No, all, if you look more into it, you can see that it was also a bit trashy, but that's normal, man. But so many people trashed on Mappa at the beginning, it was insane. I don't know they why. will erupt in a fit of rage, and you can use that to escape. If you meet a One Piece fan, simply tell them that Oda is just a normal human being. They will no, fall into a no, pit of no, despair. No, he is a god. Like he sacrifices so much time just to <laughs> get the weekly chapters. It's insane. There, the realization that their favorite author isn't in fact a deity for foreshadowing the Jelly Donut Island arc 500 episodes ago with a shadow of Luffy's ass. <laughs> if you meet a Dragon Ball fan, show them but any other anime. This will confuse them. If you meet- Because they don't watch any other anime. To Seven Deadly Sins fan, simply say, I'm so sorry. These are just a few examples, yeah. but luckily you won't have to worry as much about interacting with the wider anime community as, for the most part, they are harmless. Idol fans are too busy building a shrine to celebrate a birthday for yeah, a girl who doesn't weird. exist. Yeah, Mecha fans insane. are just happy to find other people who still watch Mecha. Echi fans- Never was a fan of Mecha, but uh, Code Geass was great because of the story itself. And yeah. The one you call them and Guren Lagan. You need to watch Guren Lagan. It's one of the best. Makers out there. I think that's above a thing, Gillian. I'm just honest, man. Culture in it's their desperate truth. attempt to turn being Wake horny up. into a personality trait, which it is. And Isekai fans are the guy who eats McDonald's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and wonders yeah, why. That's me. I'm the getting Isekai more fan. obese, even though he occasionally orders a diet coke. Lesson three. You are what your avatar is. Eventually, you may find an anime that you enjoy immensely and may feel like you want to express that by picking an avatar from that show to put on your social media account. However, <laughs> it is highly advised against doing that as it's a surefire way to make sure nothing you will instantly be seen as a degenerate. It is what it is. Nothing you say ever gets taken seriously ever again. Normally, you may see this manifest in some person blindly saying that Dragon Ball or Jujutsu Kaisen or Demon Slayer is peak fiction and unmatched by anything. And you think, huh, Ugh. I wonder what kind of person would say such a hyperbolic statement. So you look at the avatar and surprise, surprise, it's a Demon Slayer avatar. Yep. I swear it feels like exactly, parody every man. time I see it. But this is not it's as bad trip. as the biggest pitfall any anime fan can fall into. Picking a cute anime girl as your avatar. It is scientifically proven that the more anime an individual watches, the higher concentration of cute anime girls that they will see. And so, we'll eventually come to the conclusion that there is nothing more pure in life than the smile of a cute anime girl. This may lead people to believe that hiding behind the mask of a 2D anime girl may somehow cleanse them of the impurity nope. of their image online. Nope. However, it only serves man. to emphasize that- I've seen this one before. Oh. Degeneracy. No. As once a waifu is picked, the cuteness of the anime girl is directly <laughs> no proportionate to how much of an abomination their takes are. There are some who attempt to sidestep this by choosing a berserk, vagabond, or Vinland saga. Oh, okay, if you use uh, a vagabond profile picture, you've earned my respect. Berserk as well, but uh, everyone knows berserk. And Vinland saga, man. Uh, I've read a bit of the manga, and yeah, it was kind of worth it. Are, thinking that this gives them a much more respectable image than all other people. But, unfortunately, they forget that they still have an anime profile picture. Lesson 4. 
Be Come careful on. where you are. Sure. There are many places you can run into anime fans online, and depending on where you do, the vibe, culture, and etiquette may totally be different. Nowadays, <laughs> many fans stick to their private Discord servers where they can freely discuss their favorite anime in the safety of a closed group. YouTube is another place where you can see would-be critics give their opinions about anime, <laughs> but if you want to get involved in the conversation itself, ah. good luck getting past the top comment, which will inevitably be a funny quote from the video or a comment from just some guy without a mustache. How is he able to keep a budget? This, this must be uh, an account which is shared with multiple people. Otherwise, I... No one is capable of doing that shit, man. It's insane. Sash. If those conversations don't seem mentally stimulating enough, many venture off to a space like Reddit, My Anime List, or Anime Planet. Generally, the people here have seen more anime than your average user, leading to potentially more yeah. stimulating discussions. I just uh, have a, my the my anime list page so i can, I can just look, uh, look up the things i've already watched like i want to start that you know what i mean like after a while you've already forgotten what, what you've seen over all these years and you just want to see it again and look up uh, look it up in your mall <laughs> However, that is rarely the case, and in time they will realize that the only difference between them and YouTube comments is that YouTube comments actually realize that they are a bunch of apes. But this is all <laughs> nothing compared to Twitter, yeah. a website full of people so free thinking, so open minded, their brains have literally fallen out. Twitter is a place where people can air out their most private and intimate thoughts you'd only share to your closest friends and relatives, whom you absolutely trust in a completely public space that anyone can see. Discussing anime on Twitter is like taking a dump in the urinal. Yeah, you can take technically do it, but why would you ever think that that's a good idea? This is the place where you can see anime takes that make you question some people's ability for sentient thought. Yeah. The problem is that most people it's are true. barely able to articulate themselves in normal conversations, let alone with 280 characters. The secret here is to only have opinions on the extreme end. Normally, people may refer to this as a hot take, but Twitter users often use this opportunity to make a set yourself on fire take. If you're oh, 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 wait, wait a second. This one. Fire punch. You need to read this immediately. I can guarantee you that this is one of the best experiences I've ever had. It's pretty fucked up, so be careful. And yeah. Let's keep going. Set yourself on fire take. If you're scared doing this will offend someone, don't worry, as Twitter has its own version of Sturgeon's Law. 90% of everything you say will offend someone. This may make it sound like there is no safe refuge to discuss your passions online, but fear not, as there is still one place pure and untainted that may be the last bastion of hope where you can have constructive discussions with strangers online. Where? The Pornhub comment section. And that's- That's true. Like, uh, <laughs> I've watched so many uh, compilations of, of these ones, man. It's insane. I think people are, ju are just so self-aware on these websites that, that they don't care anymore. They are, like, in, in zen mode. You know what I mean? Pornhub comment section. And that's everything you need to know about interacting with anime fans. Soon enough, you'll be a master at this and realize that you don't even watch anime anymore. You just make fun of people who do online. Failing all this, there yeah. is one surefire way to protect yourself from any anime fan. A secret technique passed down through the ages that is a surefire way to let people know that your tastes are superior and immaculate compared to any anime fan you ever talk to. Final lesson. What is it? Just say you read manga. Oh, okay. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much this month too. This Alpha Sigma. Go support Giggle, subscribe to him, and subscribe to me as well if you want to see more reaction content on gaming stuff and myself. Uh, I don't really care. Uh, I'm the all-rounder. I'm the dude who does everything. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time. Wafer out.